Hello and welcome to erpwebtutor.com. This is Rory Deep, and in this video we will talk about uh, creating a custom integrator. Uh, this is the part of the web application development integrator or web ADI application desktop integrator. Uh, we have been using this in, in R12 quite, for, uh, quite a lot. Oracle has uh, provided a lot of integrators that you can use. Uh, for example, for your journal entry, you have uh, the integrator that is provided by Oracle. So what you can do is you can just uh, go to the responsibility and click on the create document. It's going to open an Excel spreadsheet. And uh, for more details, you can definitely refer to the, the section uh, which talks about the overview of Web ADI. Uh, in this section, in this tutorial, we will primarily talk about uh, how we create it. And we will go through the steps of creating the integrator, the layout. And um, there will be a, a database package that, will be, uh, that, that we will use for uh, loading the data in the Oracle tables. So we will uh, also post that piece of code on our website. You can, you can check it out. Uh, this, uh, this set of document will be also available on the website. So you can download this document and you know, go ahead and create your own integrators as per your own need. So in this uh, video, uh, our goal is to create an integrator that would automate the vendor site entry. In Oracle uh, payables, where we create the suppliers or vendors, uh, we need to create the sites for different orgs. And uh, for the creation of supplier sites, the user needs to go into multiple screens. So the request for uh, the ADI is to eliminate the multiple navigation from the, the supplier uh, site creation screens in Oracle and uh, make it like a one page uh, data entry point. So where you enter all the information that you need and you can also default some of the information that you're trying to load and we are going to create our <clears throat> web ADI based on this requirement. So again, the goal is to create an integrator that will be used for entering the vendor sites. So we'll be following this document and we'll be creating the integrator and we'll also test it uh, with our data loading process. So let's go back to the Oracle screen and log in. So once we are logged into Oracle, uh, we will see the set of responsibilities on the left hand side. For creating an integrator, uh, the responsibility is desktop integration manager. Underneath that, we need to go to create integrator. So here we need to enter the integrator name, internal name and application. Uh, we will try to follow the, the document and then enter the information based on the document. So let's go to the create integrator portion of this document. This is the section that talks about how uh, we are going to create the integrator, what entries we need to make. So in this case, uh, let's copy the integrator name and paste it on the integrator name. Uh, since this is a part of our training, so let's change the name to say training and the internal name is xxcc event one so here we will make it xx tr event one the application is our own custom application so if you are um, having your own custom application try to make it uh, this integrator a part of your own custom application. Uh, you can also use some of the seeded applications like for, for vendor sites, you can use payables, but it's a good idea to have your own uh, application to own these uh, custom setups. So we are entering our custom application here. And we need to check this checkbox which says display in create document page. Otherwise you won't be able to see the integrators when you're trying to create the document or you're trying to open this integrator in Excel. So we need to check this box. And then we click Next. Uh, we need to enter the interface name here. Uh, the, we need to note that the interface name 
you have to keep it very small because uh, once you're going to try and create some of the, the interface columns and the uh, LOVs for these columns, uh, Oracle is going to append uh, quite a few strings to the name of this interface. So but if you have a long interface name and then Oracle adds like 10 or 15 characters to this interface name, and then you will run into error of the size. I think there is a size restriction on the name of the interface columns and the LOV columns. So once Oracle appends these uh, strings to this interface name, uh, it will be more than 30 characters. So a good idea is to have it really short. And in this case, uh, if you see here in the document, uh, we have uh, this interface name as XXCC1. That's why we are trying to keep it very short. So even if Oracle appends 10, 15 characters, uh, we won't run into the size problem. So let's go back here and let's enter XXTR uh, bend. I think this is short enough. Now, the objective here is to load data using an interface. And uh, for that, we have a PL SQL package, uh, which will be called by this integrator. And inside this PL SQL package, uh, we have the uh, the API call for creating vendor sites. So the interface type should be uh, API procedure in our case. You can have a function as well. So in our case, it is uh, API procedure. So the name of our PL SQL package procedure here is XXCC Web ADI PKG. Uh, so you can have a package like this and you can add all your different procedures for your different integrators uh, as a part of this generic uh, web ADI package. So this is the package name. Next, we need to copy the name of the procedure. And in this case, it's a procedure, so it doesn't return anything. And we need to click apply. <clears throat> so once we click apply, uh, it it creates the, the interface. So this is the interface name, XXTR vent. And we need to click on this uh, small radio button here so that it will show you all the, the columns uh, that will be a part of your Excel spreadsheet. <clears throat> now, if you note here that you see there's all these columns or in this case, attribute names, so this P underscore pay group lookup code, P org ID, P country, all these uh, attributes you're seeing are nothing but the input parameters for this uh, PL SQL package procedure that we have here. So if you remember this, this is our PL SQL package and this create vent side is the procedure. So what we see here is all these uh, attributes are nothing but the input parameters for this procedure. So once we uh, click on this interface name, it actually looks inside this package procedure and uh, <clears throat> gives you a list of all the attributes, or in this case, your columns, that will be a part of your uh, Excel spreadsheet where you're gonna enter the data and try to upload. So you can change the prompts. It, by default, what it does is it just uh, truncates the P underscore from the front and keeps the rest so it's a good idea, you know, it's if it, when you create your uh, procedure, uh, the good idea is to have all the parameters as P underscore. And uh, that way you, know, you, you will have something meaningful on the prompt. But of course you can change it. You know, you can, uh, instead of all these underscores, you can make it like pay group, you know, org ID, the country, and then you can use proper case. Uh, the data type is also coming from the input parameter data type of this procedure and they're all enabled. So at this point, uh, everything is enabled in our case. So we will, uh, we can just submit and that way it will create the interface columns as a part of uh, this interface. Uh, on the on the website, I will also try to add the, the list of tables that would really come in handy for you if you try to query for your uh, data that you just create. Uh, you can just uh, go to those tables and query for your integrator information. So we will uh, update uh, the document or, or maybe directly on the website, uh, a list of tables 
that are being used by this uh, Oracle desktop integration uh, integrator. Uh, the, the, the group name for integrator uh, application would be uh, BNE. So once again, it's BNE. So uh, that's the, the top for uh, the repository for all the desktop integration uh, integrators or all those components that belongs to this application. So uh, let's submit this and this will create uh, our integrator and uh, that would be all for uh, creating the integrator part. So let's submit it. And as, as you can see here, the integrator training vendor side entry integrator has been created successfully. So we are basically done uh, creating the integrator. So if you now go back to this uh, document, uh, it talks about what what we really did and what happens. So it, it has more details on each of these fields. So if you want to learn more, you can just refer to this document. Now, the important thing is, uh, as we said here in our spreadsheet, we need to have a list of values, you know, for when you're trying to create a vendor site, um, you don't expect the user to know the vendor name or the vendor number. And even if they know, they can have some of the some typing mistakes. So once you're trying to validate the information, you will unnecessarily run into errors. And that would be too many times going back and forth, the user correcting it. So for that, we would try to eliminate the human errors or the typing errors. So we need to create LOVs for certain fields, uh, which are actually coming from Oracle. The fields that are uh, like, uh, like address line one, address line two, those are free text fields. That means you can just type in something in Excel and there would be no validation. So this is our <clears throat> vendor LOV creation uh, script. So at this point, we will go back to the, the PL SQL tool, whatever tool you use. Uh, I personally use PL SQL developer. A lot of developers use uh, Toad. As, uh, as uh, that, that's a very popular tool for for PL SQL packages creation, or you know, that's a very uh, familiar tool that most developers use. A PL SQL developer is also a, a very uh, good tool that I, I personally prefer. So let's go back to the tool and see what we need to find there. Okay, so at this point, we are on the PL SQL developer tool and uh, we need to find out what's the name of uh, our interface uh, uh, interface code. So if you see this document again, uh, it is calling this uh, BNE integrator utils package and create table LOV procedure. And the things that you need to know here is the application ID. So if you have your own custom application, you need to get the, the application ID for your uh, uh, custom application. So you should be able to see it from FND applications table and get your application ID. The other thing that you need to know here is your interface code. So this one uh, is the interface code for uh, the integrator that we created in this uh, as a part of this document. But in, in our case, when, while we are doing this video, uh, we have uh, a different name of the integrator. So that should generate a different interface code. So uh, let's let's see how we get the interface code from here. So our column name, as you know here, we are trying to have the LOVs for two uh, fields here, the country field, uh, which will have an LOV, and the vendor number will also have an LOV. So let's uh, see, uh, let's, let's run this query and see what happens. So what kind of information we get here. So, <clears throat> You see here, this P country is also an interface column for uh, the in for the interface XXCC vend one. This in this interface code is associated with this interface column. Uh, but in our case, uh, the one we are doing right now, uh, this is uh, our integrator. This TR vend one is the interface code uh, that we are working on right now. So once we uh, let's let's copy this thing and. Uh, this is the one we're going to use. Uh, I believe it's going to be the same interface code for your other column because they are part of the same interface code. So, so as you can see here, interface code. So again, let's copy it. And they should be the same because these uh, columns are a part of the same interface. So now it's time to create the LOV. 
Uh, at this point, Oracle uh, doesn't support creating the LOVs from the user interface. Like, you know, when you create the integrator, you created the integrator from the, the GUI or the front end. And there are other ways to do it as well. You can use uh, some of the existing uh, Oracle packages to create integrators, uh, you know. So there's a technical way of doing it. And then this one, one we are doing here is a combination of uh, doing it from the forms or the web-based forms. But uh, at this point for the table validated LOVs, uh, Oracle does not have any screen to set those, uh, those LOVs. So th the only way to do it is uh, running some uh, PL SQL scripts to get that done. So let's copy this, this portion. This is a very simple uh, execution of a PL SQL package procedure. So let's go back again to our tool. Uh, the only thing that we need to change here is the interface code, which is this one for our new interface. The application ID is the same. The column is also the same. And uh, what we're trying to do here is we are trying to, if you look at this parameter called ptable, uh, this is the table that is uh, that will generate the list of values. So in this case, we are trying to get the list of vendors. So we can we are using PO vendors. Uh, the ID column is the, the value that will be passed on to your uh, actual data field that, you know, when your existing package, this is the value that will be passed from the Excel to your uh, pep, to your procedure. And the meaning column and the description column, uh, you will see on the list of values when it opens, but this is the field uh, that will be passed on to the Excel spreadsheet. So if you, in, the, in this case, uh, we have the same ID and meaning. So if you want, you can you know, have a different ID column. Like if you want the vendor ID to be passed in, you can have the vendor ID. So there's segment one vendor name. These are the columns of this table PO vendors. So this is what uh, we are doing here. Uh, we don't, this is the additional where clause. If you want to put a where clause here, you know, you want to restrict the list. You can put a where clause here. In this case, we are just trying to see every piece of all, all the vendors that are there in this table. Uh, you can definitely restrict it. And uh, this is the window caption, how it will look. So once we create this and once we open the Excel spreadsheet, we'll, we'll better understand what's happening here. So let's execute this. Let's run this. So it's running now. So you need to commit. This is the commit button, otherwise it will not it be it will not be stored or it will not be changed permanently onto the database. So you need, you, need, you need to make sure that uh, when you are executing a procedure, uh, you need to commit. If there is no commit inside the package or the procedure that you're using, uh, you'll see this small commit or rollback button on your tool. And on the rollback, you can just you know undo whatever changes you have made in the commit. It will actually uh, insert the data in the table and it will be available in all the sessions. So we need to commit this. So it'll ask me for commit, yes. And now we also need to create the second uh, LOV for country. And that is this piece here. We can go back here. So we copied that. Again, we need to change the interface code. So this is our new interface code. And then similarly, we will need to run this and then commit this. So at this point, we are literally done with creating the integrator and uh, it has created the LOVs for the fields here, the two fields, vendors and country. Now it's time to create a layout. So uh, you need to specify what the layout in Excel is gonna look like. So let's uh, go ahead and create the layout for this. So for this, again, uh, the responsibility, uh, we can go to uh, this desktop integrator and then you have this thing called uh, define layout and here we need to search for the integrator that we are trying to create a layout for training vendor site entry integrator so this is the one we have and we are trying to <clears throat> define a layout for this integrator so we select this hit go 
Uh, right now you see that there is no layout defined so we're going to create one uh, we can put a name here like training uh, vendor site entry layout and click next so it has picked up all the attributes that was defined in the integrator and it has definitely truncated all the p underscore so the placement if it is context uh it's it's for us it's not going to be context everything's going to be in one line so let's have all these uh, attributes changed to line as the placement so at this point we have changed all the attributes um, at the line level and let's click apply so our layout is created successfully so as you can see from the message here so now let's see what happens when we try to open this and how we can enter the information so now we need to so this is the the actual part that the user will be doing so this is where the development work stops and now the user is going to use this integrator that we have just created so let's see what they're going to see so they're going to go to the desktop integrator responsibility and then they'll click on create document so once they click on create document they need to select the integrator from this list and uh, in this case they're going to use training vendor side entry integrator click next uh, if it is uh, windows uh, I mean, if it is Office 2007, you can have Excel 2007. In this case, uh, we don't have the upgraded patch to make it work on Excel 2010. So, so let's uh, use Excel 2007 and uh, let's click Next. So at this point, uh, it is ready for creating the document for you. So we need to just click on Create Document and this will uh, run a script and that will generate an Excel spreadsheet and it has all the VB macros behind it and that will you know generate everything for you so we're going to open it so Excel opens uh, in my case the macros have been disabled so I just need to click on options and enable it so once I do that uh, it will process my document so I don't want to cancel it so once the document is created you can just close it and this is our the lov field the way we can make out is that it has something called list text so it has an lov so let's uh, double click and this is how you see all the the list of values that we just uh, created it has like 5000 in here so let's select the first one and uh, this is the, the segment one which is our meaning or in this case id that is being populated on the vendor number uh, vendor site that's everything is test address line is like a, a line one line two you can leave the line three and four blank city is say los angeles county los angeles uh, zip uh, just, uh, there's no validation for these though so for the state uh, California the country you need to have uh, the country code is say US so we select US uh, for the time being in this tutorial uh, the org ID we need to just enter but you can definitely set a context and get the org ID from the context but to keep things simple we will just enter the org ID I just know it and the group is again uh, for the time being i just know it i'm going to use some valid value here and once i do it uh, you'll see a small uh, toolbar here called add-ins click on that and you will see oracle and click on upload and then click upload here so this this took a while and uh, once we see this this process the upload process has completed successfully uh, press close to return to the document and one row successfully uploaded so we have successfully created a vendor site in this case and uh, just to be sure you know as a user what they're going to do is they're going to go back to this vendor 
and definitely gonna check their entry whether you know the entry was created successfully or not so let's go back to oracle again and let's go to the ap responsibility here suppliers entry uh, we can just enter the supplier number that we just copied and click go so once we do that so we're going to see the supplier site so this is the section the address book is the, actually the supplier site so let's click on that and you can see here this is the supplier site that we just created so we created uh, let's let's say let's just see it or let's say click on you know show and see what we just did so we created the supplier side operating unit is the US operating unit. This is the one that is coming from your um, the org ID that we just entered, 83, for which you can use a context. And we have kept it very simple here. We just uh, line one, line two, the city state. And the, right now we just uh, left everything blank. So, so as a part of this uh, integrator, we can see that we have successfully created a supplier site using the web ADI. And uh, we can definitely make more changes to our interface package to load whatever information we are trying to load and help the user reduce the number of navigation when they are creating a site. Uh, so I hope uh, you have uh, uh, enjoyed this uh, tutorial and and the next time you're going to try to create an integrator yourself, uh, refer to the uh, video and also refer to the document. Uh, the, the PLSQL code will also be a part of this uh, document. So go ahead and enjoy uh, creating integrators. And I'm sure if you have any questions, please post us on our website and we will try to answer them accordingly. And thank you for your time. Thanks.